Hey guys, Tom here with another weekly update. This week, I want to give you a quick look at our building editor. If you are familiar with our original prototype video, this will look familiar to you. Uh, the good news is now we have it working with production code and the building engine is coming along really nicely. So the way it works is I can use these brushes to drag out different kinds of floor plans. So you can see we have three materials for wood. There's this dark wood, this light wood, and a sort of a patterned wood. And I can use the floor tool to just drag out different shape buildings. So as I draw floor segments, they merge together and I can have different shape floor plans. When I'm happy with what I've got, I can choose to just raise walls on these. And we have two different kinds of walls. This is the one that you're most familiar with. It's kind of our plastery looking walls. And I've just added a new wall type, which is kind of a log cabin looking texture. And it's gonna be very easy for us to add different textures. So we wanna give you lots of choices in terms of the look uh, and, and also the material. Of course, we'll have stone walls and things like that as the game progresses. Uh, now, once I've done that, I can decorate, of course, with doors. Every house needs a door to be functional. And I can just slide my cursor along the wall, pick where I want the door. That looks good. Maybe there, I'll put it there. And same thing here, right there, that's nice. And new tool that we have is windows. So windows work just like doors, except I can choose wherever I want them. So if I wanted uh, one high and one low, I could totally do that, I'll do that. I wouldn't do it in real life, but just, just for demo purposes. Um, Right, I can put that one up there, that one down there, and I can just you know put windows wherever I want. Uh, of course, they have to be sort of within the bounds of the of the wall. If I try to take it too far to the edge of the wall, the cursor disappears. So that's nice. But I have you know I'm sketching. I'm sketching with windows. And finally, uh, one more decoration we have is the lantern or the lamp. So I can put lamps on my house. And when I'm happy with what I've got, oops, that's one too high, but that's okay. I can put roofs on these things. And I could have done it earlier. I'm just choosing to do it now. And we only have one type of roof right now, so hitting the button just pops the roof on. And for this kind of roof, you can see that the roof cut fills the whole house. So I got this cool little porch here. We'll have other roof kinds. Uh, that don't do that, that sort of follow the contours of the building. And we'll have flat roofs, we'll have all different kinds of stuff. So, I hope you can see how the, the tech is there and now the tool is coming together. And this is like step one to getting us to the point where you can really build these big cities like we have in our concept screenshot with support for the different parts and stuff like that. So, that's it for this week. We'll see what we can show you next week. Uh, if you want to see more, check out our blog at stonehearth.net. Thanks for watching.